I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Look at them, all of you. They don't care about Tally. All they care about is their war with the Geth. Tally risked her life for all of you. On Haystrom, hell on the Citadel when she stopped Saren. She deserves better than this. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty, right here on Missile Dino Line. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres. Even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash missile dino line. Even bigger shout out to those of you leaving likes and comments and all that, driving us into the algorithm so that these videos will eventually be the most watched mass effect videos ever anyways we are on today our very final my friends loyalty mission of the entirety of this game and that is legion a house divided legion has a matter it wishes to discuss so we're gonna go see them and see what they have to say we completed tallies in the last episode so if you didn't see that you should check it out especially if you've never seen it with Legion going with you to the flotilla, which is pretty wild. I just went to engineering. He's not in engineering. We also have one of the most important decisions that we can make in Mass Effect 2 actually happens in this episode. So, and it's, an, it's a decision I've been thinking a lot about throughout my playthrough of this game and one that I just am not ready to make, but let's go ahead and see if our robot friend what they have in store for us today. Shepard Commander, we have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us, make us conclude that worshiping the old machines is correct. Ooh, that's not good. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL com release. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? It is difficult to express. Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both hardware and software. We are purely software, mathematics. The heretic's conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. So the virus would give all Geth the heretic's logic. And all Geth would then go to war with organics. Yes. Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. Hmm. So why did you need to go to the Reaper corpse? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. You know where this thing is? The heretics headquarters station on the edge of the terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. Whoa. They build stations in the terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. But why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? The heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. Hmm. What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. I wonder if there's any risk that that virus could then infect Legion. What defenses should we expect? In space, none. 
within mobile platforms of various configuration and non-sentient defense turrets. How many Geth? There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to the central computer. Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. Others are manufactured when needed. Interesting. All right, we'll wipe them out. Take headquarters. Sounds like we could end their raids once and for all. Let's do it. Total victory is a possibility. We cannot judge the odds at this time. Regardless, we will begin preparations. Love to hear it. And with that, we are going to the Heretic Station. We learn about the Perseus Vale, but more importantly, we are going to finish our final loyalty mission. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What feels like a journey that started yesterday, a year ago, is reaching its conclusion. It's wild. It's crazy. It's exciting. And, my friends, it is time to use the mass relay to go to the Phoenix massing system, which is, we've actually already been to and mostly discovered it. We only have 10% left, and that 10% is where we need to go. Heading over to the area called the Sea of Storms, which sounds so cool. And the only thing we can find here is the Heretic Station, and we, my friends, are gonna help. I'm so excited to help our guy. Once called Heritar by the Quarians, this space station was stripped of its useful technology by the fleeing migrant fleet when they left the Perseus Vale, little more than a cold metal superstructure floating in the void. It was removed from star charts. Scans indicate the station was reconstructed and upgraded in a massive effort that must have taken at least 10 years, implying that there may have been some geth outside the Vale before their infamous attack on Eden Prime. Needing little but a fuel source, it could have been hidden here for much longer. Heretic Station, as Legion refers to it, is home to a Geth data core capable of broadcasting vast distances through tight beam projections. We are going to need to uh, try to take care of this. Uh-oh. Over one million platforms are on this station. That's a lot of Geth, my friends. 6.6 .6 million copies. Oh, no. And of course, we're bringing a party of Legion in Tally. And for our heavy weapon, we are gonna have some really cool situations where we can use the Black Storm Singularity Projector. So that's what we're gonna do. You know, it's just our heat emissions that are hidden, right? They could look out a window and see us coming. Windows are structural weaknesses. Geth, do not use them. Approach the hull at these coordinates. Access achieved. We may proceed. Uh, well, that's gonna be fun for our charge, it is. Won't we be detected? Don't they have intrusion alarms? Sensors have been reduced. We have infiltrated their wireless network and filled the data storage with random bits. And that helps us how? The heretics must scrub this junk data. They have partitioned themselves into local networks working in parallel. Any alarm we trigger will not go beyond the room we are in. Only accessing the main core will trigger a station-wide alert. We've got a job to do. Let's get to it. Shepard Commander, we concluded that destruction of the station was the only resolution to the heretic question. There is now a second option. Their virus can be repurposed. If released into the station's network, the heretics will be rewritten to accept our truth. Either way, these geth won't be a problem anymore. But Shepard, think about this. If you rewrite these geth, they'll join the others. Legion's geth will be stronger. Can we trust them not to attack us in the future? Uh, that's a really good question. They're your people, Legion. You must have an opinion. This is new data. We have not yet reached consensus. We will process as the mission proceeds. All right, I guess we'll check in later then. Why didn't you mention this before we came aboard? We did not know the virus was complete. It is. It can be used against the true Geth at any time. Our arrival was timely. Pooh, I'd say. I wouldn't brainwash an organic race. I can't see treating the Geth differently. The question is irrelevant. If we do not rewrite them, we destroy them. That is why we are here. Do not hesitate now. They will exterminate your species because their gods tell them to. You cannot negotiate with them. 
They do not share your pity, remorse, or fear. I love that because it's a Terminator reference. How cool is that? Anyways, we can continue forward here and grab this med kit for 100 credits. And this is what I mean. That is such a huge decision. Do you destroy them? Do you rewrite them? We're going to have to decide. Anyways, as we move forward, we'll see these green stripes on the ground here. Maybe we can sneak past them. Interrupting data streams will alert local network. We recommend preemptive strikes against hardware routers. Which, my friends, we can actually find right over around here. If you hit, if you cross these, if your feet hit these, it's actually going to alert the Geth, and they're going to come at you and attack. However, if you come over here, you'll see that there's a Geth hub. We can actually destroy that, and it will do damage to the Geth that are around it. And then, because of the low gravity, our charge is actually going to be doing even more. So we're going to go ahead and hit this, charge him, get him out of there, and... Where'd he go? Is he dead? Oh, okay. Hey, nice Shepard, job. I'm picking up useful resources in the Geth Hubs. We could salvage them for supplies. I love your thinking. So we'll go ahead and salvage this hub here for 3,000 credits and a little dialogue. Why are all the heretics attached to these hubs? These are mobile platforms, hardware. The crew is software. They are communing through the station's central computer. I'm not sure I follow. The heretics connect to the main computer to exchange data memories and program updates. We gain complexity by linking together. To be isolated within a single platform is to be reduced. We see less, comprehend less. It is quieter. If you exchange data memories, how do you keep track of which ones are yours? How do you stay you? There is only we. We were created to share data among ourselves. The difference between Geth is perspective. We are many eyes looking at the same things. One platform will see things another does not, and will make different judgments. I can see why you'd be conflicted about the heretics. In a way, whatever you do to them, you're doing to yourself. Yes. Once they return to us and upload their memories, we will share their experience of being altered. Every other species I know of might be psychologically scarred by a traumatic experience like that. It is not clear if death can be traumatized. We do not feel pain as you do. We cannot predict what the effects will be. Let's keep moving. Yes. And I think that right there is a very important thing. Is it possible that they could succumb to the same things that the heretics did because of the way that maybe they're perceiving it? I, who knows? It's a danger that we might face when we if we you rewrite them. They will assist us briefly, then self-destruct. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and override these very quickly. And as we approach up here, we're actually going to be dealing with Geth. Not just any. We got some hunters. Lots of hunters, actually, in this episode. We'll go ahead and hack that one. And hopefully finish off that one. Perfect. And then we can turn around. And finish off this one, no pro- uh, ooh, where are you going, buddy? What are you doing? I'm just gonna finish you off. Anyways, now that we can do that, we can continue forward. Those ones were already alerted to our presence, even though we didn't trip an alarm or anything. So we need to be a little bit careful as we proceed over here, because as we can see, there is yet more. And in fact, there's actually even two hubs that we can do. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit that one and then hit that one so that we can do damage to both of them. Hitting this, getting this hunter out of the way. We're going to go ahead and AI hack this trooper or not. Finish off this. Hit that while we're here. Go ahead and charge this far trooper getting us even closer to the other hub that we need because that's another 3,000 credits. You love money. You love to see it. Anyways, this hunter trying to get right in our face is going to meet our boot stick. Meleeing it's dead. What are you doing, buddy? I thought you were... I totally thought that was Legion. That's the problem when you have a Geth on your team and you're fighting Geth is that, you know what? They kind of all look alike. They kind of do. I can't hop over that. All right. So then, now that we got 6,000 credits from just these two, we can continue on, grab any ammo that we might need, make sure we salvage those, and continue into the next room. I actually really like the Geth area. It's simple. 
it makes sense, you know? Oops. There we go. And we can get a med kit at the end there for 100 credits. Moving on here. Can hear the sounds of this place. I love that there's no windows, because why would Geth have windows? They don't need to look outside. That would be strange. How they have no surveillance type, like, cameras is a little strange to me. So we're going to pop here, go ahead and charge. We were looking a little bit spicy there, but we'll go ahead and do this. Oh, with these troopers, it's easy enough to just kind of one-shot them, and you don't have to worry about it too much. And we are dealing with so many troopers that, like, who cares? I just love it. It's like... Remember Mass Effect 1? I feel like the, this would be crazy in Mass Effect 1, but here we are. Anyways, as we come in here, we'll actually notice that there are more turrets. We're going to go ahead and hack those, because it looks like we're probably going to be dealing with more geth. And who would have thought I was right? We're going to go ahead and charge across here, giving us a little bit scary of a, of a moment here, but we're going to hack that one. Coming across, you can see that this geth is dead. See if we can shoot. Even though he's hacked, we can finish him off now. Perfect. Getting those drones destroyed as well. Looks like everyone's doing pretty well. I hear ya. Where are you? We got another hunter here who unfortunately was trying to take down Legion. I wonder if they've said anything to themselves like, hey, we're being attacked by our, our brethren. Anyways, if you do need to, you can come down here for some cover. I wouldn't recommend it, because why would you ever give yourself the... Take away the advantage of the high ground? Doesn't really make sense. So, continuing on here, making sure we are full. We have power cells and a med kit in front of us that we can grab, which is free 200 credits. We can grab those, since we haven't used our Black Storm Singularity Projector just yet. Let's go ahead and use this. It's worth mentioning that those drones that we activate, those rocket drones, if you're standing in front of them, you can actually get hit by those rockets. They do do friendly fire damage as well. They won't target you, but they will hit you. Very linear, actually, as we proceed through this base. Right over here, we can find some refined palladium. Pick that up for 2,000 credits, which you love to see. Continuing this way, you can see that the gravity is a little bit lower here. There's still some but not much. And behind us, we're going to start getting attacked by Geth Troopers and Hunters and all of that, as you would expect. Go ahead and charge this. Woo, that was spicy, spicy, spicy. Charge again. Oh my God, I had no health. I had no health. Let's go ahead and pop into cover here. Woo wee. Anybody else feeling that? Woo. Go ahead and energy drain. Did I not map that? There we go. No wonder why it wasn't going off. I had no idea Geth built stations this large. The station is over 15 kilometers long. That room may run the length of it. 15 kilometers long. That's pretty cool. Right here we can bypass a Geth terminal. Probably get something good. And we will get a Geth Shield Strength, another one that we can now add. That means that anybody that uses shields on our on our team is going to be that much more defensive, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Unfortunately, there's nothing over there except for some, I don't know, some cool looking boxes. If, you, if you're into boxes, chat, don't even, that's not what I meant. Anyways, we're going to continue down here, and this is a wonderful time, my friends, to actually switch to the Black Storm Singularity Projector, because we can actually kind of introduce some more cheddar. And I know, you know how much I love cheddar. Anyways, we'll come down here and see we have a bunch of very scary, very scary alarms. But we can also kind of see that that over there is where the enemies are. But what we're going to do is come around here being very careful not to step on any of these. And what we can actually do here is run around and we can actually toss this singularity. It will do damage through a wall. So what we can do is if that's the wall there, we'll get ready. We'll send out this singularity over there and then we will send another one over here. And hopefully that will end up doing just enough where we will be able to hopefully take them down before becoming a huge problem. We're actually dealing with some hunters, and um, uh, there's, a, in total, there's about to, there basically three hunters. But just like that, we can take them out. 
not having to worry about much at all. Go ahead and take that one out, and that should actually be... We have one more hunter that we can destroy. Look at that. Easy peasy, and we now have two geth hubs that we can salvage. That's why I like using the... Uh, the Blackstorm Singularity on this, that part right there is so simple if you're able to use those, because it does do damage through the wall, surprisingly. Anyways, I really like that there's a Geth dropship here. I think that looks so cool. And anyway, moving on, looks like we have another door we can use. Switch back to the Geth shotgun, because fork it. 6,000 credits, by the way, from those hubs, which is very Are nice. databases? Processors, each contains thousands of Geth. Can't they see us walking by? They are no more aware of us than you are of cells in your bloodstream. Oh. Well, that's neat. Let's go ahead and talk to Legion about these Geth servers. This isn't like the other hubs we've seen here. This is a database. It contains a portion of the heretic's accumulated memories. <sighs> Wait. We discovered copies of our current control routes in this database. This suggests the heretics have run times within our networks. We wouldn't be here if the heretics wanted to be friends with the Geth. Why wouldn't they spy on you? You do not understand. Organics do not know each other's minds. Geth do. We are not suspicious. We accept each other. The heretics desired to leave. We understood their reasons. We allowed it. There was peace between us. It couldn't have lasted forever. You disagreed about what path your race should take. Human history is a litany of blood shed over different ideals of rulership and afterlife. Geth have no such history. We shared consensus on such things. How could we have become so different? Why can we no longer understand each other? What did we do wrong? Uh, I... Oh my god. When individuals are separated, they develop in different ways. When they get back together, they don't always get along. If this is the individuality you value, we question your judgment. This topic is irrelevant. We must return to the mission. Is it? Is it irrelevant? Have you reached a decision about whether to rewrite the heretics or not? We are still trying to build consensus. Some processes judge destruction preferable. Others rewrite. All right, let's, let's go. Let's keep moving. Yes. Okay, four Paragon points for that. Legion going through, I don't even, I'd say identity crisis, but there's not quite an identity. And we will be in one heck of a room where we'll be spending a few more moments of our time. You'll notice that there are two thermal clips, clips back here. These are actually going to be uh, the respawn, and these are the only ones in the room. So you trust me, you're going to be using those. You'll also notice that there are a ton of... Um, rocket drones all over the place here up here with us also we're gonna grab this med kit for 100 credits but also down here in this cool looking maze area i would recommend not activating any of those just yet and being a little bit careful there's no other items that we can grab here so i guess the only thing that we can do is use this geth terminal here see if legion can i don't know figure out something this is it Yes, we will upload a copy of our runtime into the core. It will delete all copies of the virus. When complete, it will notify us. The indexing operation will take time. The heretics will respond with force to our upload. We must hold this room. We can override some of the station's internal systems to defend us. Are you ready to begin? Uh, well... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. You can override these like you did the earlier turrets. They can help defend our position. Correct. In addition to the turrets around us, there are others on the mainframes below. Indicate which you want activated, and we will program them. This will only last a few seconds. All right, let's do it. The final combat. Start your upload, Legion. We'll defend this position. Of Wild Legion's loyalty. Shepard Commander, where would you like us to activate defenses? Alert. All right. Run times downloading to mobile platforms. Ah, uh, this is gonna be great. Let's go ahead and get this. We'll have all of our ammo done. Alert. We'll put Tally and Legion on the sides platforms. here, making sure that okay, good. He has what I wanted on. So what we're gonna do here is these are gonna start coming out. You're gonna start seeing uh, all of the Geth are gonna start attacking. There's four different waves here that are going to approach. We're actually gonna go ahead and hack that one. 
and get ready to start sending out stuff on this one. Again, this is the problem here is that uh, the drone actually coming. So we're just going to get into cover here. The problem is, is as a Vanguard, we just don't really have the ability to do what we wish we could here. We can't charge, so we have to play it a little bit safe. We could let these get up here, but if we do that, then, you know, it's... Yeah, I, I just wouldn't recommend getting them, letting them come up here. Looks like we actually have some geth coming in from over here, so we'll go ahead and finish these off. They will start switching side to side, so we're going to hopefully pop that. We'll go ahead and break it. AI hacking is fairly useful on this part just because of the way that enemies end up working is you can actually stop them from advancing in that sense, right? So there we go. And they'll kind of hold up the rest of the line that you will find back here. You can't go down there. There's no way down. But we can empty our SMG. Watch out for these rocket turrets. What rocket? Rocket turret? You know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, we're going to pop both drones here. Actually, we're going to... There we go. And then we will hopefully... With a drone and an AI there, we should be okay. I would love to be able to hack this rocket drone. Unfortunately, that's not going to work. But what I can do is target this one with a drone. Getting into cover here. And like I said, we won't be able to do anything until we have... There it is. Fortunately, he did not get the hack off in time. So we'll just finish them the old-fashioned way. And of course, we're going to have enemies on the other side of us as well. But as a vanguard, we can... It, it, it is kind of okay for them to get here. We can take them out. And it doesn't feel like... You know, maybe switching Tally's AI hacking out wasn't the best idea before this mission. Maybe we should have done it afterwards, but I'm okay with that. Let's actually switch now to our uh, our assault rifle just so that we can do a little bit more damage. This is the third wave that we will be facing, and that means we are going to be facing hunters and uh, other types of enemies. So let's go ahead and hide here. We're going to pop these drones. Actually, let's not pop that one. Let's pop... Oh, jeez. We'll pop this one here. Hopefully allowing us to soon hack that. Waiting for its shield to pop off. There we go. And we will hack that. And we should be able to finish this one off while it's coming up here. Watching out for the other sides. Geth Hunters will be the thing that will could ruin us. We'll go ahead and hack that. Perfect. So now we actually have a hunter on our side. We want to keep an eye out for enemies on this side as well. And I don't think we're going to be able... We are able to get another hack out. That's awesome. I wasn't sure if the respawn was going to be... Or the uh, recharge was going to be fast enough. But the cooldown. That's the word I was looking for. Are you looking at me? Anyways, we can kill this hunter now. This is probably the only mission where AI hacking is super, super helpful. So... Hey, you know, if you have it, why not? Let's go ahead and put that incendiary ammo on and finish them off. We need to refill our ammo real quick, so we'll pop back here where I said that the thermal clips go. And we're going to the final wave now. This is wave four, so we're going to switch to the gun here. And we're going to start just launching all of the turrets that we possibly can. It's the same button, by the way, uh, as... There we go. It's the same buttons as, whoop, go ahead and pop, we're going to pop both drones, as cover. So when you're getting into cover and you're trying to activate a drone, they're, they're pretty much going to do the, you might accidentally do a drone when you mean to do cover and, you, and vice versa. So you kind of have to watch out for that a little bit. I feel like I'm concentrating super hard here. We got a hunter here that we'll go ahead and hack. Now it's on our side. We don't have to worry about it. And we'll just start taking these down as they start coming over. And we'll go ahead and charge. Somehow, I'm losing the incendiary that was on my bow. Or on my... Ooh, let's go ahead and... Oh, shoot. Did not realize that you were there, dude. Okay, there we go. Rocket Trooper getting sent back down. I think it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. And just the hunter left, which we can take out. No problem. And that, my friends... Data mining analysis complete. 
Shepard Commander, it is time to choose. Do we rewrite the heretics or delete them? Oh, what a question. Probably, for me, one of the hardest decisions to make in the entirety of Mass Effect 2. In the entirety of Mass Effect? Why are you letting me make this decision? They're your people. We are conflicted. There is no consensus among our higher order runtimes. 573 favor rewrite and 571 favor destruction. Shepard Commander, you have fought the heretics. You have perspective we lack. The Geth grant their fate to you. That is way too much power. You don't have any trouble wiping out your own people. Every sapien has the right to make their own decisions. The heretics chose a path that prohibits coexistence. That doesn't make sense. If they have the right to make their own decisions, how can you suggest brainwashing them to accept your way? We stated the option exists. We did not endorse it. It is Shepard Commander's decision. What's to stop them from using the virus later to change themselves back? We will delete the virus after using it. We judge it too dangerous to allow its existence. The problem with this is that the Reapers could easily come back and when they do end up attacking, they could rewrite the virus, make a new one, get the Geth to fight for them using the new virus that they craft. There are so many issues that could arise from this. If we write, the, if we rewrite them and all of their, whatever they've experienced, the heretics have experienced, are then added to the core Geth, what if it changes the core Geth? What if the core Geth see something there that they actually are like, you know what? The heretics had a point. We just didn't see it before. But now that they have, it, it's now integrated into society. It is um, one heck of a decision, my friends. The Paragon route would be to rewrite the heretics. The Renegade route is to destroy the heretics. My friends, this was hard. This was a hard decision to make but I have chosen to destroy the Geth heretics. There's no guarantee they won't come to the same conclusions again, is there? To worship the Reapers and attack organics. There is a non-zero probability of error. Then blow them up. We have a chance to end this. I won't waste it. Acknowledged. Collapsing antimatter magnetic bonding mechanisms. Done. Recommend withdrawal to Normandy. And we should probably hustle out of here before this whole place is uh, gone. So we're just going to run out of here. We get 30 Renegade points. I told you it was going to happen. And like I said, we're, you know, I just, it is just such a hard decision. Let's go ahead and pop this real quick. Now, we do have time to eliminate all of these if we so choose, which you can do. But also, if you're a Vanguard, you can kind of play it a little bit less safe. There is a Geth Prime standing before us. We're going to go ahead and charge that. All we need to do, my friends, is get to the very end here. As soon as we hit that door, we should be fine. And just like that, the Geth heretics are destroyed. Now, that three minutes that we were given there at the end is plenty of time to kill all of those enemies and take your time and not worry about it. It feels like you have to rush. You don't. But, as always, if you're a vanguard and you can skip stuff, might as well. If you're an infiltrator and you can cloak through it, might as well. Adrenaline rush. Uh, if you are able to AI hack or stasis or anything like that that's going to stun things, you can easily run out, tap the door, and be done with the mission. And with that said, destruction of Geth heretics may change entire galactic landscape, bolstering observation of Geth space to monitor any fleet movements. Regardless, data recovered from Geth station offered valuable insight into AI social and technological processes. Legion should be committed to the mission after Shepard's help with the Geth heretics. We'll get 937 experience. We get a Legion power unlocked the Geth shield boost. We will get a new outfit for Legion as well. The shield strength upgrade, 30,000 credits, and 2,000 palladium. And when we get back onto the Normandy, I hope you have a high charm or, or intimidate because you're going to need it. Let's do it. Uh, Commander, Tali just went to have a chat with Legion. You better get down to the AI core. I'm on it, Joker. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. 
I caught Legion scanning my Omni tool. It was going to send data about the flotilla back to the Geth. Creators performed weapons tests and were discussing plans to attack us. We believed it necessary to warn our people. We weakened the Geth by destroying that base, Shepard. But there's still a threat. I won't let Legion endanger the fleet. Creator Tally Zora acts out of loyalty to her people. She was willing to be exiled to protect them. We must also protect our people from the Creator threat. You can't let this happen, Shepard. I trusted you, and I worked with a Geth on the team, but this is too much. Well, unfortunately, y'all are both right. Tally, your father was running brutal experiments. If the subjects had been human, I'd damn well be telling the Alliance about it. I know, but if the Geth find out... They'd attack, which would cause a war that would leave both the Geth and the Quarians vulnerable when the Reapers show up. Is that what you want, Legion? We believed it was necessary to relay the information. Sooner or later, you're both gonna have to stop fighting this war, or we'll all end up paying for it. To facilitate unit cohesion, we will not transmit data regarding creator plans. Thank you, Legion. I understand your intention. What if I gave you some non-classified data to send? We would be grateful. Look at them working together. Oh my, that was cute. That was super cute. And just like that, we uh, we just we just nailed the last loyalty mission of the entire game. But let's go ahead and check in with Legion now and see what he has to say. We just did something that I, be honest with you, I've never done it in any of my uh, my playthroughs. That was my first time, and I feel dirty. Shepard, what happens to the heretics now? Many heretics remain in isolated systems. It is not impossible for them to rebuild. There's still a chance they could attack again. The probability is low. If so, it would take many years. Well, good for us. We'll be facing the Reapers before that happens. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. Are you kidding me? I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. That's all you had to say to us? All right, fine, fine. We will be able to, my friends, to get all of the dialogue from Legion while we are going through this game. That will be something that we do, uh, but it won't be right now. It'll actually be in the post-game stuff that we have to do, like Arrival and all of that jazz. Also, it is worth mentioning that now is the time to solidify your relationships. Garrus, Thane, Jacob, uh, if you are playing a female ship. If you are playing a male ship, you have Tally, Jack, uh, and Miranda. So I would recommend that you start going and talking Commander. to those people and, and seeing do, what of you can do to solidify that. Once the end happens, you're out. That's it. You can't. You don't have that choice anymore. Of course, we're staying faithful to Liara, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to do a video showing you every gosh darn beautiful sex scene that this game has to offer. So instead, what we're going to do now, my friends, is we're going to head to engineering and see if Tally has anything to say about what we just did. Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come there we go. on, you little bushtet. Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the port drive core. Don't worry. It's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. Hmm. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. The Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't have all been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld and our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. Hmm. How did you get sick this time? 
I took some fire in a fight back on the Alarai. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and Farin Matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. Now, if you are a male chef, this conversation is kind of what leads to you solidifying your relationship. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like, what did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. Huh. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though, except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Nevertheless, I'd be honored to link suits with you, Shepard. You know, if you were a Quarian and we weren't already on the suicide mission. I'm going to tinker a bit more. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> She's so awkward and I love her. Shepard. And my friends, that is what we can get now that we've done her mission and did one after that and she's just she's just the best anyways that my friends is going to do it for today's episode of mass effect 2 legendary edition but wait there's one more thing why don't we go ahead and head up to the combat information center so that we can do this final research that we got and i would recommend not using the map just yet so let's go ahead and use this. We have a prototype here, which is going to max out 50% shield strength to our squad. Beautiful, beautiful stuff to get. And we do have another shopping trip as well that we could do. The IFF is remaining installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take a shuttle to access your next location. Interesting. So, let's go ahead and use this private terminal, see what our message is. A pleasure to meet you from Admiral Darrow Zen. Oh no. I've been digging through the Alarai. Shit. Just wanted you to know that I did find a few things from the experiments Razora was conducting. Had you shared with them, them with me, humanity might have reaped the benefits. Instead, once my own experiments are complete, you and your people will watch from a distance as the Quarian people reclaim not just their homeland, but the largest synthetic army in the galaxy. Melzora's death will not have been in vain. I will complete what he started cordially. Admiral Darozin Basmora. That is a very scary, aggressive message to get sent. Mm hmm. And of course, I'm sure Joker's going to have something to say about the heretics. Good hit on those Geth, Commander. You know, Legion's still wandering around the ship if you want to pick up the spare. <laughs> that's it for now. And that's it, my friends. We are done. We have one more mission left. In that, the Reaper IFF has been acquired. The Normandy crew are it is installed now and operational. In the meantime, recruiting and preparing the team, that's already done. They're prepared. They're ready to go. The very next episode, we are going to use the Reaper IFF. It is going to be installed, and I am sure it is not going to be a problem at all, and we will be able to just head to the Omega-4 relay. I'm sure nothing else is going to happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Legion's loyalty mission, bringing Tally along. I know I sure did. Uh, one of my, I love, I love this loyalty mission. Tally's is my favorite, but this is a good one too. Thank you for watching. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres. And even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash online. And an even bigger shout out to those of you liking and commenting and all of that. Couldn't do it without you, so thank you. Uh, and anyway, in any, in any case, never give up. Never surrender to the Geth 
virus. Also, rewriting people and brainwashing them? I, I think I'd rather destroy them. Hypothetically. 